Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today we're heading to Garden at 120. It is so easy to get to. It is open Monday to Friday um, until 6.30 and it is free to the public to go. And you can also take your tripod. Let's go and have a look and I'll show you around. Guys, so as I was just explaining, um, this is a free rooftop in London. And a lot of people have asked me if there are any free rooftops where you can go to and get, and get some like skyline shots of the city. Um, this is it. It's only recently reopened on the 6th of December. Um, you've got a 360 view. You've got the Gherkin. You've got the, the city. You've got Canary Wharf all the way down there. You've got Oscar down there. You've got the Sky Garden. You've got, and then in the far corner over there, you've got the Shard, which we'll get to in a minute. But I want to get a shot here, which would be quite cool. And you do have a reflection, but there's a couple of ways that you could deal with reflections. One of which is to cover the top of it like this and to get a, a shot, but I should be all right, I think. So one of the ways that you can do that is if you cover the top of the lens like this with your hand and just getting rid of some of those nasty reflections. Okay, it's a good start, um, but there is a thing that you can use. It's actually an Oscars bag. I'll go and get it now. Okay, and that thing that I was talking about is this. So I'll link this below in the description, but basically this can just go on the end of your lens like this, which you'll see, and it can cut out all of those nasty reflections. So we're going to get this like that, got it out, as you can see, you stick it on there, make sure it's not in the frame, like so. But it's a super cool um, like contraption you can buy, accessory you can buy. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below. Okay, so I've thrown the 85 mil on from Samyang. I'm gonna get like a detailed shot of the building up of the uh, the gil the gilkin the gilkin the gilkin up here, like that. Um, and you can actually see the shard in the reflection, which looks pretty cool. So let's get a shot of the shard in the reflection, like so. And then you can also see down onto the street as well, which is quite a cool shot that I might do later on with the 7200. Um, you've got these stairs over here. That's quite a cool shot. Let's get a shot of that. Like so. Okay, so I'm gonna set up here. You've got the reflection here, as you can see. I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna have it on a little bit of a longer exposure because I wanna be able to get rid of, cut out some of the ripples in this and hopefully get it nice and clean. Set up on the tripod, we've got it on a 1.6 second exposure, f4.5 ISO as low as it will go. We're gonna focus on the sky garden itself. Gonna do a nice little shutter and bam, nice and easy. Um, I'm gonna get some handheld stuff now as well. Um, but I'm gonna move a bit closer because uh, obviously you've got you've got so much here. You've got everything, you've got everything that you need to shoot up on this building. It's insane. You've got Tower Bridge all the way down there. So if you go down this way, look back to the left, you can see Tower Bridge. You've got Canary Wharf. You've got the Shard, Sky Garden, the Gherkin, the city, pretty much everything. You've even got like traffic down here you could do a long exposure with. It's, wow. Yeah, it's pretty sick. By here, we're gonna get a shot of the Sky Garden. I'm gonna come to the left-hand side here. Now, I've just given the thing, the suction thing that I was showing you back to Oscar. But it's all right, we'll make do without. So if you don't have one of those suction things, another way you can do it is you can take your camera, put it up against the side, and if you've got a sleeve, just take the sleeve and place it over the top, like so. Try and stay as stable as possible. Get a bit more stabilization. You can kind of just rest it on this as well. So you can rest it on there, get your sleeve, pop it over the top. And bam, what a great angle. Okay, we're gonna go this way a little bit more, see if we can get more of the road in. Um, we'll also look towards Tower Bridge in that area. The same with Tower Bridge, you've got this railing here that we can use, pop it on there. We're gonna zoom into 24, like so. Pop your arm over the top. And again, make sure you're nice and steady. Three, two, one. Let's have a look at that. Not bad, not bad. Okay, and we'll do one, I wanna do one towards the shard, but I think we'll have to come this way a little bit. Okay, so if I come over here, there's actually this kind of triangle. See this here, the triangle? We're gonna try and frame it in there. Like, oh, that's nice. Okay, change settings. We're gonna go 80th of a second, F2.8. ISO, 
2000 and then we'll bump the rest up in post. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Let's have a look. Zoom in on that. Let's have a look. See how bad that is. Yeah, it's not bad. We can come in a little bit closer. Maybe if we go down. Yeah, so I'm going to come to this corner here. Rest it in there. I'm going to have the leading lines from this leading towards the shard. Like that. And because we're doing this and we're using a little bit of a stable surface, I can bring the ISO down, increase the shutter, so leaving the shutter open for a longer period of time, allowing more light in, like that. We can probably go down to about a fourth of a second, mm, a bit too bright. Yeah, we'll do fourth and then bring down the ISO to 250, get a nice grip on that. Now, the reason I have it on high plus mode when I'm doing that is so that I can take multiple shots so I can get the right focus point. Because obviously at a fourth of a second, your arms are gonna be moving a little bit. So you wanna take multiple shots to make sure that you get the right shot. See where the frame is. So here you've actually got a reflection of the sky gun itself. So if I do this, oh, that's nice. So again, fourth of a second, f2.8, ISO 250. Got a nice little reflection. You've got the sky gun itself. You've got the shard. You've got everything in there. Oh, it's tasty. Yeah, we can compose this. Maybe we can put some leaves in the foreground like that. Spin everyone out because everyone's been like, well, where's, where's that taken from? Oh, that's quite nice, actually. We'll drop the ISO down. Get the focus on the shard. Oh, it's quite nice. See if we can just step in here to get detailed shot, 200 mil of the gherkin. Get some of those patterns in there, which is quite nice. You can use this as a balance. That's really cool. Okay, so I've just moved over here to get the shot of Canary Wharf, which is looking tasty. Tasty. Uh, we're going to change some of the setting up though because it doesn't need to be as it was. So we'll have it on 4 seconds, f4.5 and then ISO as low as it will go. Okay, so the next shot I'm going to get is this one up here of this crane. So I'm going to point this up. Ooh, it's kind of like... Uh, yeah, that's great. Still got it on a timer from when I just did that last shot. Change the drive mode. Oh, that's going to look really nice in an edit. You can spend as much time as you want up here. Um, what time is it close? Huh? Time is it close? 6.30. 6 so I would have told you that at the beginning as well, but... Huh? It's only open during the week. And it's only open during the week? Yeah. So Monday to Friday, open till 6.30. Okay, so we're going to get a 200mm shot of St. Paul's uh, settings. We're going to reduce the ISO to reduce noise and put it down to... 15th of a second. Okay, as you saw, it is a pretty sick location to go and shoot. And if you do get time and you are London based or visiting London, I do very highly recommend it. I'll link it in the description as well. Let's go onto the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. I use the hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram. It's currently at 222,000 posts and we're gonna do a little refresh and go down from the top. Um, this one here is really sick of the yellow person, the yellow person, yeah, the yellow jacket in the middle of the frame with the person with the umbrella, love that. Um, and then we'll go with this portrait shot, it's pretty sick, love the, uh, the background. And then we'll go London bus vibes, it's very sharp, very sharp. Nice uh, that you've singled out the red colour as well. And we'll go with this drone shot, love that, that's in Sweden, it's a great shot. I really want to go to Sweden, never been, want to. Um, and we'll go with, that's a really sick shot of a, of a Mercedes. Love the um, like the green vibe on the top, it's like the contrast between the green and the black, really nice. Long exposure there of a bus, can't go wrong with a long exposure. And then we'll do, let's do this one here. I like the bokeh effect, it's really sick. That's cool as well. Um, we'll do, let's do one more. Scroll, 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 scroll. Let me scroll down. 
Um, we'll do a tram shot in Roma, and we'll do, oh, let's do one more. That street shot there is pretty sick as well. Love the colors. If you do want to get featured on this channel, use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram, and I will uh, feature you here. Um, I'm doing a video throughout the whole of December, so if you want to want to get a chance, this is this is your time. I have just done this twice. Um, basically, I've had an issue with uh, microphones over the last couple of days, and I did that whole sequence just now, and it was yeah fucked. So I've just done it again.